And it all starts with a vacation. See, every couple of years I go to visit uh, my girlfriend's family. And uh, it's great, but uh, I get a lot of reading done, a lot of writing done. So my goal this year was uh, I wanted to have my own uh, e-ink typewriter ready to go for the vacation. Uh, and that was Zero Writer Ink. And you can check out my other videos for more uh, kind of background info on, on what I thought was missing and uh, what I wanted to bring to the table compared to other products like this. But uh, at the end of the day, I, I got it done and I had it ready for my trip, which was awesome. Okay, that's cool and everything, right? But why open source and why am I going to get you to care about open source? It's a good question. Uh, let's get into it. Remember my trip. Picture this. I'm hanging out on the beach, having a great time, drinking coffee, writing away, uh, typing away on my Zero Writer Ink prototype. And uh, everything's going pretty well. I think I ended the trip with a couple thousand words, like around 5,000 on a story I was working on. Um, but I kind of ran into uh, a problem that I didn't expect. See, Zero Writer Inc. is a distraction-free word processor, so it's kind of designed so you are writing uh, constantly forward, minimal editing, uh, so you kind of just keep going, and it's good at that. Uh, but what was happening is uh, every couple of pages uh, I would forget uh, detail from previous in the story. It could have been like a character's name or a location. Remember Sammy Jankis. Or uh, eye color, stuff like that. Normally I would jot down details like that in a separate journal or notebook. Um, but I realized sitting there on the beach that I could just fix this problem myself. So I just plugged in my Zero Writer to my laptop and opened up Arduino. And uh, in a couple hours, I kind of came up with a new idea, uh, this little pop-up notebook where you can jot down details that you might forget later on in your story. These notes are persistent between documents, uh, so you can go back and forth between what you're working on, maybe you're working on different files, and this little notepad will always be there with uh, kind of a memory of, of what you were working on. So for me, I could jot down stuff like uh, location names or eye colors or favorite foods or whatever, and it would always be there with just a quick key press. This meant for me, I would spend less time going back and forth in the document, looking for details, and more time just writing. And I made this just for me and a problem I had. Because I'm gonna make the best product I can for me and ship it. And uh, I think it's gonna be really great. But just like what happened to me, someone will use it. They'll have a great idea. And I'm gonna give them a way to make that idea happen. Okay, now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that everybody is going to be comfortable just diving into the code and, and writing their own fixes like, like what I did, but it's important to know that there are people out there that will do this, lots of people, a lot like me and other tinkerers on this channel that are comfortable working on this stuff, and they need ideas and direction, and they want to know what kind of stuff you guys would look for in these kind of devices. You know, a lot of the time people ask me stuff like, oh, what if someone comes and steals your idea? What if they take all of your code and they just recreate uh, an, another version and sell it to people for less? And honestly, it's kind of a funny question to me because, well, to be honest, I don't think I'm doing anything revolutionary here. And these kinds of products have existed for a really long time. 
If I was trying to build a company around something like this and I was trying to keep it proprietary and secretive and it was all around a hobbyist project that I did in under a year in my free time, that's not a very smart business decision. So to me, the thing that makes sense is making it open and then we have all the strength of other people working on it and supporting it to make something better. And then I don't need to worry about turning this into a business and all that it entails. Instead, I just make some good hardware, get people using it, and try to do it again. I know this idea might be kind of confusing or weird or alien, but honestly, that's the truth. I'm not trying to line my pockets or make a ton of money off of a product. This is just about making something as a community and putting it out there because it should exist. And hey, it's October 1st uh, as I'm recording this, which means we're in Drafttober officially. You can check out the other video on my channel for a giveaway contest. Uh, but basically, uh, just to encourage everybody to do some something creative in October, preferably something spooky or horror related. And uh, I'll let you guys know what I come up with. So thanks for watching again and make sure to subscribe, share this video. And if you haven't yet, you should check out Zero Writer Inc. We're still live on Crowd Supply. Uh, that ends in the middle of the month, so you still have time to pick one up if you're interested.